Today is June 22nd. Today's quote is entitled, Cultivating the Mode of Goodness. Simad Bhagavatam 11.13.6 states, quote, Until one revives one's direct knowledge of the spirit's soul and drives away the illusory identification with the material body and mind caused by the three modes of nature, one must cultivate those things in the mode of goodness. Unquote. In other words, being situated in goodness puts the conditioned soul in the optimal position for cultivating Krishna consciousness. So this verse brings into light the importance of the mode of goodness. Now, sometimes devotees may think mode of goodness isn't that important. We're interested in transcendence. And of course we're interested in transcendence. But in order to transcend for a conditioned soul, it may be difficult if, if he or she is not situated in the mode of goodness. Obviously, if you're situated in passion or you're situated in tamagun, it's going to be difficult to jump from there to transcendence. It's a far jump. If we're situated in Satvagun, it's the next door neighbor. And many of the activities and, and levels, or you could say thinking, in Satvagun is the same as, as the transcendental nature. It's, if you read Bhagavad Gita, a lot of the qualities or characteristics of people in Satvagun are characteristic of devotees. And the qualities of Brahmins, Truthfulness, cleanliness, honesty, religiousness, satyam, socham, tapo, austerity. Those are devotional qualities. Those are qualities which, even if they're not devotional, if you do them, they put you in the optimal position to be Krishna conscious. And we, we often talk about the power of environment and how we're affected by it. And so... Duty of a devotee is to try to keep himself as far as possible in an environment which is conducive to Krishna consciousness, knowing that the environment is very powerful and the environment can change the way I think and it can change the way I act, even against my will. So actions, food, music, literature, everything should be sattvic. Our dealings should be sattvic. Our relationships should be sattvic, not passionate not ignorant. It doesn't help us. So it's a simple point, but I just wanted to point out it's in the Srimad Bhagavatam that conditioned souls like ourselves need, before we're completely transcendental, need to create sattvic environments in our thinking and our action in our external environment because we need it. It's just going to help us. So be sattvic. And then you'll be Vishuddha Sattvic, you'll be transcendentally Sattvic.